Hi guys, uh, just thought I'd um, introduce you to the uh, Bushcraft Tools uh, Fire Piston. It's a really good little piston. Um, I'm extremely excited by it. Uh, what I'd like to show you today is how we install the leather grommets to the fire piston. Um, but first of all, let me show you what this is about. Alright, so when you open your packet you'll find the, uh, the piston and the barrel and the little packet of rubber grommets that are supplied with the kit. Now the rubber grommets are really good and they make a really good uh, tight seal but they are prone to wearing a little bit faster than would be expected. So if you're going to use the rubber grommets you simply screw that on to the end of the piston and when it's on properly um, it will be just let me put the end back on it all comes a bit loose but don't worry once it's all tightened nothing will happen so now the, the rubber grommets in place you would put your uh, char cloth or amadou or chaga in there and then you've got an, a little bit of grease on the rubber as a lubricant which allows it to slide up and down okay so like I say the rubber grommet is a really good little piece of kit you do get five of them so it should last a long time anyway but traditionists like myself sometimes want to use the leather grommet so I just take off this rubber one as you would do when it's worn careful to do it over somewhere where you're not going to lose it because it is green and if you're doing it over grass you could well lose it okay so as you can see the rubber grommet the sorry correct that the leather grommet is a little bit bigger than the rubber grommet so we have to make it fit because when obviously when it's screwed on like that it won't fit in the barrel so what we need to do is take the grommet and wet it. Now you can wet it in several ways. You can wet it by sticking it in your gob and putting spit on it, spit on it or di dip it in some water. Like that. Okay. So when it's nicely absorbed all the water should take about five minutes okay I'll come back in five minutes and get rid of this phone call okay it's about five minutes later and as you can see the um, the leather grommet is nice and soft now so what I want to do is pop that shiny surface in first onto the thread and then put the thread onto the piston. Now what we're going to do now is squeeze it, okay? Just squeeze it into into shape like I'm showing you here. And you see it flattens out, okay? <clears throat> and it squishes in to place. All right? So, once that's in position like that, just tighten it so it's a little bit thumb tight okay and mold the leather a little bit more like that okay now what you'll find now is that it is the right diameter but it's not going to fit in terribly well and that's because the leather now needs to be slightly trimmed okay so we can trim this leather bit lower the grommet like that with a pair of scissors or a knife and just snip off that lip that's been produced okay like that and at the bottom as well the pieces of leather have been specially chosen 
uh, so that they do allow for easy sort of moulding. Uh, the leather is soft and much more pliable than some of the leathers. So now that you've done that you can just squish it down and you can see it flattens out quite nicely. So when we put the piston on we'll see that it's all nice in shape. This should now fit in the barrel like that and as you can see it is springing back okay so there is a pop so there is a vacuum going on and when we push it in it springs back because of the pressure so we can just slightly tighten it now the great thing with the leather one is that you can actually at a pinch use spit as a lubricant water as a lubricant which you can't really do with the rubber one now once you've put your tinder in the end there <coughs> replacing it in like that okay you should have a nice tight seal like that and you can see it springing back so there's a good point pressure there if it just slightly becomes slightly looser just tighten it fraction and you'll make a tighter seal so tightening or loosening will adjust the the seal on it okay so basically that's how you use it the the other videos that we'll do uh, obviously they explain about putting the uh, tinder in there and using it as a fire piston would be used properly the, once you've got to this stage what's a really good idea is to let it dry out and once it's dry and you put oil on it the oil will soak into the fibers of the leather and it will be much easier to use than, than, than water but like I say water can be used at a pinch it, as a lubricant uh, it's not as effective and if it is too wet it will cause steam which will obviously put your tinder out when you use it under compression anyway if you've got any questions i really really like to to hear from you if you've got any problems you know we can always go through it if you want to phone me up i'm always happy to talk uh, my name's Hot Mark and uh, from Beaver Bushcraft and uh, sharktinderbox.co.uk uh, Thanks for watching. Thank you.